Oh, we should quit looking at gay porn. Shut up, mom. www.bigthrobbingcocks.com. How did you see my phone? <laughs> <laughs> hey there, folks. I am the Mighty Plantain, and obviously Bouge is here with us, as well as EM Destroyer again. We are checking out something tonight that I wasn't 100% expecting. Um, I was planning on picking it up after you showed me the picture and we spotted it at Damon's, but this is uh, on the house, so to speak. Thanks again. Anytime. Very much appreciate it. Folks, we're looking at Jack Daniel's Triple Mash. Now, this is a blended straight whiskey with a blend of bonded American malt, rye, and Tennessee whiskeys. Bottled in bond, it's 100 proof, which makes it 50% ABV for those who don't know. Uh, triple Mash, a blend of three bonded whiskeys with pleasant notes <coughs> of honey, malt, and soft oak, leading to a long lasting, well rounded finish. Bottled in bond, distilled by a single distiller during a single season and matured in a government bonded warehouse for at least four years. This has got a lot of fucking promise. So, and the price point was really good. It was only like, what, $35? Well, wasn't it on sale? It wasn't that bad. No, I don't know if it was on sale, but I mean, it was. I feel like that's pretty good bang for your buck. It should be. Um, well, I we'll mean, it's definitely. It point. better not be we'll a see big when we drink it like Boosh. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> there. Remember who's supplying the beers tonight. Good point. And you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> Synthetic cork, not necessarily a bad thing that happens. I'm going to try not to go too crazy because we've got to get through a few things tonight. Thinking right about there. That looks good. good. Okay. Oop, I messed up your table. At least I didn't hit my phone. That's the one thing that gets me. And that's why they put the... I went heavy on you, Boosh. Sorry. I went light on the crown though, so it's just getting you back for that. All right, it's got some decent legs on it. There's something underneath. Yeah, it's tape. There is. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. Do you remember you were asking me in the store about the difference between a, a, a regular whiskey and a rye whiskey? And I was trying to explain yeah. you know, the difference between white bread and rye bread. Right. I can give you an example of it. Yeah, you smell the rye a little bit. You know what I'm I'm kind of getting is almost like a like a, a peaty, maybe almost maybe like a, a scotch. Smokiness. Almost like a scotch. It's it's. I'm getting a little bit of that smoky. Yeah. yeah. So it should be good. Right, well. Cheers. Cheers. That's rugged. <laughs> oh, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at 50%, it's, um, I want to say most of the whiskeys that we do for Jack are usually 40. 40%, mm -hmm. around yeah. 80 proof, yeah. Yeah. So it's not that much more, but you definitely no. get that right in your face. You do get that right up front. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's it's mellow me, on the way down, though. It's mm -hmm. really fading away quick. Mm -hmm. It's smooth. But you're getting that, that smokiness. It's sweet. not a bad aftertaste. No, it was really not. It's smoky. It's grainy. It's. It's actually. It's like not butter. bad. I feel like this could be dangerously good. Yes. It's like butter. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> sipping whiskey, actually. It butter. Is very good whiskey. <laughs> butter. Oh my god, that is. That's very good. Damn. Mm -hmm. Even I drink that. I don't. I'm not really a big. This is a good sip. American whiskey. Mm -hmm. I like scotches, but I'm not really a big American whiskey drinker. But I would, I would do that. This is a, um, this is a limited release. Might be something worth stocking up on. Honestly. Yeah. 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 And there was another one too. It was this one and a was it a? Oh, I can't remember. I think it was it. It was it just a cask strength of Jack. I think might have been. Might have been that. I say it was a cask. This one was the one that looked like more appealing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you could take Jack and you can make it a cask strength any day. Mm -hmm. That's all you're doing is not watering down your whiskey when you bottle it. Yeah, um, this <clears> is a blended with a yeah. couple of other things in it that just worked out really, really well. Hmm. Picture like a, a fire on like a fall evening with one of these. Yep. Hell, I'd do this around fire right now. <laughs> yep. And I'm sweating. And it and it actually is kind of it is a little bit. 
usually you wouldn't think of it with with liquor. Mm -hmm. It is a little refreshing. Yeah. If that was chilled a little bit, it'd actually be, be. I think it would be really refreshing. Could be. It doesn't have, there's a certain flavor that you usually get with Jack in the aftertaste, mostly from the sour mash. Mm -hmm. And I'm not getting not the, at all. the Jack the Jack flavor. Yeah. This is more smooth and, and mm -hmm. well-rounded, I think. Yeah. Like, if you were blindfolded and you took this, would you guess it's Jack? Mm -mm. Me no. either. No. Never. No. And I like Jack, don't get me wrong. Same. It just has that one slightly... Can be unpleasant flavor. Mm -hmm. I mean, after about the third one, you don't even. Know <laughs> you feel <But>, Yeah. Or I smell the stock. Yep. <laughs> but no, this this is really That's a good, very good, really good bang for your buck. Great yep. flavor profile. Goes down smooth. Mm -hmm. It's a special treat, folks. Yeah. Um, make sure to try it out. Hit us up down below in the comments or the email link down there. Let us know what you think about the Jack. Triple mash. Yep. <laughs> I'm only on my second drink and I already had to double check. Um, while you're down there, don't forget to like and share the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, folks. Cheers. Keep drinking. Peace out. There, I finished it that time. <laughs>